Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Also known as ship recycling, ship breaking is a method of disposing of ships by breaking them up as a source of parts or raw scrap. This system has lowered the demand for mined iron ore and has reduced energy use in the steel making process. Those benefits have led to an increase in the practice globally, where 500 to 700 ocean going commercial ships and floating offshore units are sold to the scrap yards annually. Of those units, a large portion is processed by Pakistan, which takes nearly 120 ships or almost 16% of the global ship breaking industry. This is why 31 miles west of the country's largest city, Karachi, an impressive view of ship breaking yards stretches out several miles along the coast. The most important area is the Gadani Shipbreaking Yard, holding a total of 132 shipbreaking plots. Since the 80s, it has been one of the largest shipbreaking yards globally in terms of capacity and the number of ships dismantled annually. <laughs> At its peak, Gadani could dismantle more than 100 ships per year, depending on the market conditions. This basic process is that the ship, which is a ship, is a year, that means 20 years, 25 years. At that time, it is not in the working condition. यानी वो कम इतना नहीं होते बेनिफिट नहीं होते यानी ज़्यादातर ख़राब हो जाते पुराने हो जाते जिसकी वजह से वो बेनिफिशियल नहीं आते कंपनी के लिए तो ऐसी सूरत में फिर शिप को स्क्रैप के लिए दे दिए जाते हैं देर आर लॉजिस्टिक्स बिहाइंड हैंडलिंग दिस नंबर ऑफ बोट्स व्हिच इन्वॉल्व कलेबरेशन विद द शिप ओनर्स हु डिटर्मिन द टाइम टू कमीशन द शिप एजेंट्स होते हैं वो مختلف علاقوں میں مختلف ممالک سے یہاں پاکستان میں جو شپ بریکر سے ان کو تصویریں وغیرہ اور اس کے ڈیٹیل وغیرہ سینڈ کر دیتے ہیں اور جس جو آنر ہوتے وہ اس کو دیکھ کر پھر فائنل کر لیتے ہیں کلیئرلی دس آرڈیوس ورک ریکوائرز اسپیشلائز ٹولس دیٹ میک اٹ ایزیئر فار آپریٹرس ٹو ڈو دیئر ورک ایفیشنٹلی This long list of equipment includes basic tools, such as hammers and wrenches, and complex ones like cutting tools. The timing of ship scrapping operations is influenced by the tide, which tries to coincide with low tide periods when more of the beach area is available. The workers begin by removing non-essential equipment, furnishings, and fixtures from interior spaces of the ship.
preparing the boat for the dismantling also includes removing any hazardous materials. Plasma cutting machines use a high velocity jet of ionized gas to cut through thicker steel plates. When the operators gather enough removed material, a series of cranes are used to lift and move away the scrap. Having the material on the beach, it's further moved around the yard using forklifts and front end loaders. After the interior elements have been removed, the crew identifies suitable anchor points on the ship's hull to attach chains. These heavy-duty anchor chains or steel cables are used to secure the ship to anchor points on the beach. They are wrapped to the anchors using shackles and bolts to ensure the boat remains still. Wire rope, made from strands of steel wire twisted together, is commonly used as a towing cable. Considering the weight of the steel chains and wire rope, the workers rely on loaders to manipulate the anchor points. With winches located on shore, complete sections of the boat are dragged out of the ship, guided by the tension of the chains. Additional cables are attached to the ship's hull components to provide additional stability and support. The ship's hull is gradually cut into sections using cutting equipment, starting from the top deck and working downward. To cut those bigger components, the workers focus on cutting through the weld joints. Cutting through this area increases the probability of obtaining a part without damage. The detached parts are easy for the crew to manipulate using cranes. Once the whole sections are detached, the workers continue to cut them into steel sheets.
Those parts are cleaned and removed of any excess rust to be easier to recycle. छोटे छोटे पीस आते हैं हम उनको काट कूट के फिर छपी में लगा लेते हैं समझो हमारे साथ वर्किंग वाले और भी हैं जो उठाकर वो छपी में डाल देते हैं हमारा काटना है सिर्फ काटने का Such material is collected and further processed into molten steel that is cast into ingots or billets. This shows the diverse industrial capabilities of Pakistan, which beyond scrapping steel, manufactures multiple products from this material. Pakistan has a growing capability in metalworking and engineering, which includes manufacturing propellers for ships, body shops for buses, and structures for rickshaws. These industries contribute to the country's economy and provide employment opportunities. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.